How often do you run into this situation? You have an asynchronous request, so like a fetch request, and you use this kind of syntax here, where it's dot then, dot then, dot catch. Usually, you know, for situations like this, where I'm just trying to get one kind of price, it works well, but never ever do you ever <laughs> just leave at this situation. It always ends up with you needing to use you know, some sort of variable you get from this request, and then you make a, another fetch request right here to some other sort of API. And then you get this kind of callback hell that looks like this, where it's just like a Hadouken. And we've, we're all guilty of it. It looks horrible, and it's even worse to debug. So that's why I love asynchronous, uh, or sorry, the async await syntax for this kind of thing. So here's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to comment this out. As you can see, we just have a basic React application. It just gets the price of a Bitcoin uh, on page load. So yeah, we're going to be using the use effect hook that's uh, in you know React 16. I really do love React 16. It kind of just changes everything from what I'm used to in React, but kind of in a good way. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a async function. I'm just going to call this get Bitcoin uh, price. Cool. And then let's just do let response is equal to async fetch. And then, you know, because we are lazy devs, we're just going to do this. Copy the exact same code, right? There we go. And then response. I'm just going to then assign this to the response.json which is this is all part of the fetch uh, api so you know this this could really be anything if you're using axios i'm pretty sure it's uh response uh, dot data but yeah and then we'll also use the use state uh you know hook as well to do set coin price to um what was it again it was this right here bpi usd dot rate so response uh there we go perfect and see if it works oh so I've got to call that function now, uh, get Bitcoin price. Perfect. And then does it work? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, there we go. Cool. And just like that, you get this kind of easier to read code that doesn't fall into this callback hell that looks like this. It just is kind of a linear process, even though it's still doing all that asynchronous requests that we are used to uh, when working with a React application.